Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we had a look at Jade, the templating engine Jade, and we kind of played around a little bit with Express so far, and I thought, well, it might be the best idea to just show you an alternative to Jade right now, as Jade is, well, you have to kind of like it. I'm not the biggest fan of templating engines like Jade with white spaces controlling the, the flow and the structure of the document. I'm more a fan of classic HTML and then you just insert some template expressions to manipulate that. But that's just my preference, you may choose whatever you like. Therefore, however, in this video I will show you how we can replace Jade with another templating engine, Handlebars, and I will also show you how to, well, use Handlebars. Let's start. So I'll just start by copying my old folder here. And I will rename it to handlebars. That's just, as I said in an earlier video, um, I have this file structure for my repository where you can find all the code. Now that I copied it, I will just open up my terminal. And the first thing is I will uninstall Jade. I don't have to do that, I could let it let live there but I'm not going to use it so I'm, well I will just get rid of it. I will type npm uninstall shade and I will provide the dash dash save tag to also remove it from the dependencies in my package.json file. And um, yeah it always helps to be in the right folder so let me just repeat it there. So now if we open the package of JSON file, you see there is no more shade in the dependencies area. Next thing is I will install handlebars and I will install express handlebars, which again with the save tag to add it to the dependencies, which is, well, handlebars optimized or ported to, be, to work really great in, in Node or especially with express like the name implies. So now you can see we get this express handlebars dependency here and it is also installed here in our node modules if we have a look at here express handlebars okay so now with that set up i have to adjust my view engine here because i'm no longer using jade to do this i'll add a new step here the first thing is i will require Express handlebars, which we'll just name this uh, HBS, require express handlebars. There it is. And after doing this, I will add a new entry here where I kind of create a new engine for our Express app. Let it know that I have a new engine available. And I will give this engine an internal name of HBS. And I will use this, uh, well, this package is just required to, well, create this engine basically. And here I want to give to some options, some configuration. The first is the X to name property here, where it just, well, basically specify the extension of the files so that Express is able to recognize which files are kind of written in handlebars or should be run through the template. And I want to have .hbs as, extend, as, as an extension and therefore I add hbs here. Next thing is I will set my default layout folder, so my default layout name here to layout. So I will show this in a second. Handlebars also offers us the possibility to define layouts where we have a specific block where then the content of the individual page will be kind of injected. And I'm telling handlebars here that the default layer to be used is the layout layout file. So like we have a layout that shade, we will have a layout.hps and this well layout file should be the default layout used if I don't overwrite this. That is basically what I'm saying here. Now, with that out of the way, what I do here is I will set my view engine to HBS because, well, I set it up here as an engine. I registered it as an engine here in my Express app. 
Oh, and I want to add one more parameter here. This is the layouts dir, the directory where layouts will be found. And this should be dir name, which always points to the, well, root directory of our Node.js app here. And then we will find it in the fuse folder, slash fuse. And then I will create a subfolder layouts where all my layouts should, should be. Now with that set up, I will create the folder in my view folder here. So layouts. This is of course purely optional. You could also just point to the views folder itself and not to the layout subfolder. Next thing is I will move my layouts.shade file into there and I will well, change the, the name or the extension of this file to HPS. And of course, I also can't use this. So what I'll do here is I will set up a new, well, HTML5 skeleton, which I want to use. In here, I will output the title. I'll share this in a second. And between the body tags, I want to have the part where the individual pages can, well, inject or put their content into like when with J, we did with this block content statement here. I also will add, well, the style sheet, which is uh, still in the style sheets folder, style sheet style CSS. So how do we do this? How do I insert the title here and set up the section for the individual page parts in my body here? Let's begin with the title. I can just output variables or data passed to the template by using double curly braces. That's by the way where the name comes from, these handlebars here. And then I just specify the name of the variable I want to output here, title. Because remember, in my routes file here, I'm setting this title variable here. And well, this is just what I will output here. Next thing is the part where the, the, the part where the block content, where um, the individual pages can inject their content, is set up by using free curly braces to escape HTML or to not escape HTML to be precise, because using double curly braces makes sure that only text is output, and if I would have HTML tags in this variable it would just render them as text. But using free curly braces says, no, no, render the HTML. And we definitely want that to be the case in our content here, which comes from our individual pages, which will of course not only contain plain text, but HTML themselves. So I have free curly braces here. And then we name this body, because body is the, the reserved name, so to say, the reserved uh, hook handlebars will look for and which will be kind of overwritten or replaced with the content of the pages. So this name is not optional or not freely chosen. It has to be body here because we set this file up as our main layout, if you remember the app.js file. And therefore, handlebars will then look for this body part here to insert the actual content of the individual pages. So I hope this is clear how this works. So this is how we set up our layout. Now let's uh, change our index.shade file to index HPS. Here again, we can't use this, but we of course want to use our layout. We don't have to extend it because if you remember in the app.js file, we set a default layout of this layout file. Now we could overwrite this when rendering our page and we will see this in future lectures. But as we have this default layout, I don't need to extend anything. I also need, don't need this block content because as I said, handlebars will always take the content in this file and just insert it where it finds this body part, this body hook in the layout. So all I have here is an H1 title, which again should be the title and then let's say to, to create the same view as in the last lecture I will have a paragraph which says welcome 
Man, welcome to, and then again, Thailand. You can already see, good thing is compared to Jade, well, it's normal HTML again, and we always have this double curly braces syntax. It doesn't matter if it's the only content between two HTML tags or if it's nested in normal text. So I, I saved this and now let's, let's run the app, shall we? So I run my server here and I reload my page and as you can see, this works. And this is now rendered through handlebars, not Jade. So last thing is I will also rewrite my error file here. Again, replace the file ending, get rid of this and let's just, well, output the error message here like that. And I will get rid of the other stuff I had here because yeah, it's only that we have a valid file which can be used. So this is in general how we set up handlebars and how we use it, how we use layouts. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into that templating engine. In the index file here, we currently have, well, this. Now, oops, I want in my routes file, I'll get rid of these routes because currently they don't lead anywhere. I want, I still have my conditional, I will use this and I will pass an array here too, which should just hold, well, three numbers. Now in my index file again, let's first say I want to check if a certain condition is met. And as you saw, I'm passing this condition variable, which just, just says false. How could I do this? Handlebar, handlebars has this concept called helpers. We can write our own helper functions, which basically transform code or which will add a certain functionality to the templating engine we can use. It also has some built-in helpers like, well, things you often use like if statements or each loops. So what we need here. Let's start with the if statement. This helper will be a block expression because it will have multiple lines. A no normal or non-block expression is, well, something like, the, like this title thing here. It's only one line here. We can't have multiple lines of code. This would uh, throw an error. Now, in contrast to that, when using if, we certainly need certain, well, or multiple numbers because we would have something like if condition and then we want to have something here if this condition is met, then we might have else, and then we will probably have something like and if. So this would be kind of the syntax we would expect, right? Let's see how this actually looks in handlebars and why this is the case. As I said, we no longer have this single line expression, but it's kind of a block because we're wrapping some content with this overall template expression here, which is not independent or these individual lines are not independent of each other, but they kind of work together. So to let handlebars know that, I have to specify that we're now writing some code over multiple lines or that we have this yeah, block here. I do this by adding a hash sign right after these double curly braces. And then I just have my, my if condition here. But now I get, my IDE already tells me if block not closed. Well, because it's not and if, but instead we use a, a slash, like we close a normal HTML tag and now my IDE automatically auto-completed that. It now recognizes this is a valid block in handlebars. We close it with double curly braces slash Again, like an HTML tag, just with double curly braces. And we open it with this hash sign. And now handlebars knows this here is one block working together. Now the else statement in the middle is fine. This is actually written like this, because again, it's now in the middle of this block and therefore this works. So now I can say if condition is met, I can write like condition is met or condition not met, something like this. Let me reload. And you can see condition not met because yeah, we were passing false here. If I change this to true, this condition, 
we should see that the condition is met. Oops, and I need to, of course, restart my server. Now, condition is met. So now let's output this array with a each loop. Again, in my index file, a each loop is a block two, right? Because again, we would have a, like an opening of the each loop, then some code or some HTML, um, well, content between the opening and ending statement, and then, well, the ending statement. So to do this, I will again open up my block statement with double curly braces and hash. And then I will have my each keyword here and like if and else and so on. This is of course a reserved keyword here. So each and I want to well loop through any array and then I will just, oops, I will just uh, close this here close the each block. So now this is working again, uh, but it's one, one curly brace too much. So now this should work. And now how do I output the value I'm currently looping over? I can use or I should use this, which again is a reserved word here by handlebars to in this block statement output, in this each statement output the current value of well of the current iteration so let me save it and reload and now you can see one two three here if i want to rename this or maybe i also want to output the current key i can do as and then i have for my pipe sign two pipe signs and between these pipe signs i would have value and the key so now i can say value and if we reload this, you see nothing changes, this still works. And I could also say, well, key, and then like, let's say colon, and then the value. And now you would see, okay, the first element, index zero is one, second element is two, and third element is three. So this is how you can use the each expression here. Uh, well, these are the very basics about handlebars. As I said, you can write your own helpers, we can include partials, and so on. And these are all things you can very easily look up if you want to know them right now. Otherwise, we will use handlebars in the future videos, and you will therefore see how to do things like this. Very looking forward to seeing you in the next videos. Bye.